Now, earlier today, I was flipping through Bob Church's An International Guide to Trout Flies, published in the UK in 1987. It's a pretty cool book, especially if you like learning about some of the patterns our fellow fly fishermen overseas use. And you can find a used copy of this thing online for about $10 or so. And the pattern that caught my eye in here, it's called the squirrel and silver. And I love using squirrel tail in streamers. It's easy to use, it's cheap, it stacks really well, and you can get a lot of flies out of one squirrel tail. So this little streamer was created by John McClellan in 1963 for fishing at Ibrook in Pittsford, which looks like some pretty big water with some pretty big fish in it. Now Church said common sizes for this thing are 6 to 12, and I'm going to lean toward the smaller side and tie this on a size 10 just because I'm not going to be fishing any big reservoirs anytime soon. I'll probably be throwing this thing with a three weight on the tailwaters here in Maryland. So there it is in the vise, a squirrel in silver. Now the book said common sizes for this were 6 to 12, and I consider anything, you know, smaller than a 10 or so, kind of a micro streamer. And that's what I'm tying this as. I'm tying this on a size 10. This is a seven extra long streamer hook, three extra heavy, not barbless. So I went ahead and pitched the barb right there. And I want to do some black thread. Just going to catch it in up here toward the front. You don't need to take it too far back just yet. And first thing I want to catch in is going to be the tail, but I want to use it partly as the underbody as well, or not really underbody, it's gonna be covered, but this is a four strand wool yarn. I think it's four strand, we'll see in a minute. But I'm gonna catch it in up front, and what this will accomplish is it'll keep me from having a big lump in the back. And you can squish this down pretty tight if you want. It's not gonna be real tight, but let's take it back up front and then catch in our actual body material, which is gonna be a silver mylar. This is actually a, a gold and silver. Gold one side, silver the other. I'm gonna catch it in with the silver side toward the hook, because when we wrap it, we will flip it over to wrap. Start it a little bit back, because we got a throat and a wing. And I'm catching this in up front too, also for the same reason, helps keep the body smooth when we wrap it up. Okay, so let's go ahead right there, take our thread back up to the front where we wanna catch it off. And what some folks will do is put a little bead of super glue or some kind of, you know, liquid adhesive right there. I usually don't. I'll show you what I do when I get up to the end and why I think it's not really necessary. But just go ahead and put these wraps one right in front of the other. Okay, when you get it up front, go ahead and catch it off. Let's say, let's do two wraps here. And what I do, I just fold it back over and then take a couple wraps going back. That way, it's really not going to come unwound on you. And I've never caught so many fish with one of these kind of flies that I really had to worry about it anyway. Okay, so that tail right there, let's go ahead and snip it to size, not real long, let's say. I think that's gonna be fine right there. And I'll unspin it a little bit. You could really just probably fish this thing like that. You don't have to fluff it up if you don't want. But the book, the picture did, so I'm gonna take my Velcro here and just fluff this out a little bit. Okay, I think that's fine. I got a little bit of fuzz going all over the place. And we do have a throat, and what this calls for, silver mallard flank feathers, just a, a few barbs from this. And it's not a real big tuft. I'm just gonna take these, spin them in my fingers to unmarry them a little bit. And we'll catch them in right here. Let's see, not real long, but I don't, not insignificant either. So let's go ahead and Take those right there. Let's take a look at that. Is that enough? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I think we're gonna be just fine. Now, the one you saw on the vise at the beginning was natural squirrel, but as I think this is pretty much an attractor fly, I'm gonna mix this one up. I'm gonna do some yellow squirrel tail. So put a small tuft in your stacker. 
Let's see if that stacked okay. Yeah, it should have. Okay, that is going to be yeah, pretty cool looking right there. And you know what I should have done before I stack this? Take a little wax. Squirrel tail is slippery. It stacks really well, but it's also kind of slippery. So put a little wax on your thread, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin it clockwise to cord it up a little bit so that when I put that first wrap down here, I'll get a pretty tight bite. I've got this going all over the place. So I don't want it too long, maybe to the back of the tail right there. So let's just pinch this and then do a little pinch wrap right here. We'll do a couple of them and then take a look at it. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine right there. Let's make sure we're situated on top. Now we can take our wraps going back. And I've got a little bit of wax on my thread still, but that's fine. Now just snip all this up front, take your time. It might take a few wax to get all this snipped clean. And I've got a little bit of an ugly head right there. Let's see what we can do here. Just try to push this up with your, your thumb. And actually some of this, I can snip a little closer. Okay, now let's just try to, to bury this and make sure we can still get our tip it up through this eye here. Looks like I'm going to be able to, but I'll probably take my singeing tool just to, to clean this up a little bit if I want a really prettier looking fly. But then again, I might just put head cement on it, put it in my streamer box as is. So let's go ahead and whip finish it here. So there we go, a squirrel and streamer tied with yellow squirrel. Yeah, that head's a little bit messy, but uh, you know, don't hold that against me. I'm gonna clean that up before we're done. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.